<laughs> of course. So I should probably Gina. introduce myself so uh, we have this on film. Good afternoon. My name is Jan Magner, and I'm very honored to have this opportunity to share some ideas with you. And I really hope you take home something of value today. I do a lot of different things. I'm a coach, I'm a trainer, I'm a healer, and I combine all of those different things in different ways depending upon what the client's needs are. Today, I just got invited to speak, and this is an opportunity for me to step out of my comfort zone and start doing more spontaneous speaking, and that's what you're going to get today. So we'll just see how it turns out. This is, again, like I said earlier, I'm throwing things up against the wall and seeing what sticks. So I'm being brave, like you said, Yay. little brave girl, but just a little bit older brave girl, <laughs> which is very brave for me to be doing it at my age. Very good. So let's get started. I wanted you to just think about, have you ever been driving down the road and all of a sudden someone swerves right in front of you? Have you had that happen? I had it happen on the way over here. <laughs> And let's think of another example. Have you ever been at work and someone said, you, you really shouldn't wear that color. It, it's really not fashionable. Or some mean, snarky thing. Have you had someone say something like that at work and you weren't expecting something like that? Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> I'm getting somewhat head nods. <laughs> okay, how about if, have you ever been home and you were just doing the laundry or mowing the lawn and someone at the house has a total meltdown and they take it out on you. <laughs> have you had that happen? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So we kind of have three out of three. Wouldn't you say everybody's had at least that happen once or twice in their life? Me, probably multiple times. <laughs> How would it be for you if you had five things you could do at your fingertips that you could do in five minutes to change your state, change your attitude, because usually when something like that happens, we kind of go into a little bit of a grumpy attitude, don't we? <laughs> Would that be useful for you? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, you just happen to have at your fingertips a hand. I think everyone here has a hand. Some yeah, people two. maybe have, you know, one or two, but everyone in this room has a hand, and hopefully those out in Internet land have a hand that they can use. So what we're going to play with is what's called Neuro Linguistic Programming, or NLP, which was developed back in the 70s by Bandler and Grinder. One was a computer programmer and one was a linguist, and they figured out that we are like body biocomputers and we store everything in our bodies or out in a screen in front of us which was profound back in the 70s. They didn't have flat screens back then, you might recall. <laughs> well, some of you are too young to remember those big boxy things called televisions. <laughs> but back to our point, we all have a hand, and we're going to do what's called anchoring information into our fingertips. So you will have five things when you go away from this experience that you can count on and <laughs> access because it's on your body you're never going to not have your hand hopefully does that sound like a plan Ooh, yeah. Yeah. yeah very good let's have you you're going to draw your hand on your paper and those of you at home grab a piece of paper and just like when you were in what third grade and you made the turkeys and you drew a turkey with your hand let's see i think i'll try this color maybe not We'll do a green hand. So that's a thumb. Okay. You can tell I'm an artist, right? So that one is the thumb. So everybody, raise up your thumb. Give yourself a big thumbs up. Woohoo! Woohoo! Woo and talk to your neighbor and say, I'm awesome. Oh, awesome. 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 Now say, you're awesome. You're, you're awesome. awesome. <laughs> okay, now say, we're awesome. We're, we're awesome. awesome. <laughs> That's why. Everybody's awesome. awesome. Every, oh, you, say, you guys are on it with the songs here. I love that song. So your thumb, what we're going to anchor here, we're going to do an acronym and anchor it into your thumb. So there's going to be lots of ways for you to remember things. In our thumb, we're going to anchor 
the letter B, and the B is going to stand for breath. Breath. I'm sure you've all taken breath classes or everybody pretty much breathes, at least in this <laughs> room. But some, sometimes we forget to breathe. Sometimes we hold our breath. And sometimes we develop a lot of what they call stress up here in our shoulders, right? Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, I do a lot of work uh, with massage and coaching people and they say, this is where I carry my stre stress. Erase, 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 delete that thought. That was a programmed thought into your brain. You do not have to carry stress in your shoulders. So with the breath, think of what kind of a color would you say represents stress? Just shout out red. 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 <laughs> Pretty much that's the standard um, uh, answer I get. Sometimes people will say black or they'll say... Um, I don't think they say black. Orange. Dark purple. Dark purple. Sometimes you hear dark purple. You get all kinds of colors, but that one, either dark red or bright red, is usually the one people say for stress. So I want you to imagine just exhaling that red. Just giving yourself permission to see that red leave the body. And you're all doing so good. I can tell you've taken breath classes because you're dropping your jaw. So those of you at home, if you're not dropping your jaw, go ahead and give yourself permission to let that jaw drop. And it's also useful to kind of say that ah sound. Or ha. Or even better, make a vocalization. Ah. That's right. Good. Ah. Doesn't that feel better? It's kind of like a self soothing thing just to go, ah. Ah. I feel better now already. And can you hear the tone of my voice? It's gone down. Before it was really, really high and kind of stressed, and now I'm calming down. So this, it, it, it calms you down immediately. So we're releasing the stress, it's going out the breath, it's going out our fingertips, out our toes. And then what color would you say is a good representation of peace and calm and more uplifting? Lavender. Lavender. Mm -hmm. Lavender. Okay. I don't know that I have a lavender pen. Blue? Blue, I do have a blue pen. So blue, we'll use blue for today. But you can use whatever whatever works for you at home. Whatever is your happy color or your calm color. We only have eight minutes left on the whole thing. I've already used 15 no, minutes. No, for your five minutes. I'm giving you eight minute notice instead of five. We're at eight it's minutes good. total. That all I've done is speak for eight minutes? Okay. So I just want my... When, I, when I've spoke for 15 minutes and then just give me five. Okay. All right, that was a technical difficulty. <laughs> Very good. So let's just practice that a minute. Just breathe in the beautiful blue or lavender and exhale the red. And breathe in the beautiful blue or whatever happy color, sometimes it's yellow and let go of the red or the black or sometimes it's brown. You do your own representation, but these are what we're using for an example. Let's do one more, breathe in, and relax the jaw, and let go. How do you feel? A little bit better? You look mm -hmm. more calm. Okay. Now you don't get to fall asleep though, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you that calm. <laughs> <laughs> so our number one is the breath. 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 Good job. Look, see, you've already anchored in the in there. You guys are doing great. All right, the next one is also going to have a B, but this one is going to stand for body language. Ah, body language when your thing falls down. <laughs> so body language. Why do you think that's important? Body language. Pam, you've been you through a lot of you slouch. You feel down. You don't breathe. Right. It, so it anchors. It, it brings up depression or insecurity or lack of self worth. Right. So you've seen teenagers. They kind of look down at the floor and 
have their hands in their pockets and all they need to do is sit up straight, get their shoulders back, put their head up a little bit and this actually starts to create endorphins in your body. And then it's always useful to what? Smile. Smile. We know that that makes more endorphins in our body. So imagine just smiling and sitting up straight or standing up straight. It gives more oxygen in, down into your belly. It helps you move more confidently, feel more confident. That's body language. How would you think that would be useful in an interview, if you were in an interview? Very useful. Very Confidence. useful. And uh, uh, one of the things that we've learned is how to shake hands. When you shake hands, you want to, oh, you've got a good handshake and really warm hands. Thank you. He didn't squish my hand and he didn't give me the limp fish hand. You want to have it somewhere in between and you want to match the person's, whatever they're doing, you want to match their handshake. And that's a, just a useful tip for when you're out interviewing. So we've got body language, we've got, this one's body language, what's this one? Breath. 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 Okay, so good. So we've got buh so, much, so far. <laughs> this one's gonna be, oh, oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> the middle finger. <laughs> and I know in some cultures that's not good, but for, for what we're anchoring it for is to be in observer mode. You know when someone cuts you off, and I don't know how you do, but a lot of times it puts you in a not very good state, and you might be using certain words that <laughs> hopefully no one else is in the car. But it would be useful if you go into what's called observer mode. Rather than being subjective, which is when we start feeling like someone's hurting our feelings or t picking on us or whatever, if you can pull yourself out of the situation and be an observer, be an observer. Okay, so that's that person's, they're having a little meltdown. It has nothing to do with me or... That person is needing to be heard, so, you know, it has nothing to do with me. And a useful thing you can do is see the situation, but turn it into a black and white picture, not, not a moving picture, not you up in the stage doing the dance with everyone. You want to take yourself out, be out in the audience, or even up in the light booth, and observe the situation. You can uh, also make it a tiny, tiny picture. If you're really, really ticked off at the person, make it a super tiny black and white picture and then turn it into a dot and put it on the mountain and then let it disappear. So these are very, very interesting things, but it works for your brain. And th this is going into your subconscious right now. So it is gonna affect you and hopefully you'll remember the O is for observer. observer. So not, right now we have BBO, so we have both. <laughs> I'm thinking the color gray for neutral. Neutral. Oh, as your observer. observer that's neutral. a good, yeah, yeah, that's a good thing. So you're, a, you're doing, you're multitasking with your brain right now, Terry, adding the color. So you have the visual. We also want to have auditory and we want to have kinesthetic. That's some of the things that we learn in NLP is you want to use all of those different formats of, of uh, senses. Very good. So now we're going to go to this one. We have another B, so we kind of have Bob <laughs> so far. And this B is just to be, just being. Ah, so we've got the breath, we've got the body language, getting our body language up. We are in observer mo mode, we're taking ourselves out of the situation, and we're just going to be. Hmm, doesn't that feel good just to be? Because then we're not in the uh, ruminating over that subject and figuring it out and thinking about it and overanalyzing it. You can't tell I do that all the time, right? Mm -hmm. We're just going to be right here, right now, enjoying our breath, enjoying our uh, our company with one of one another and our beautiful smiles and your beautiful bright eyes. You guys are awesome, by the way. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> so just being. Notice how that feels when you're just right here, right now, with nothing to do but just be here and enjoy. Isn't that yummy? 
No exterior thoughts of past or future or laundry list. The final one is S. So we've got Bob's. That's a good way to remember it, like Bob, Bob's big boy. <laughs> Bob's. So S is going to stand for your state. In NLP, your state is like your state of being or your state of awareness or just where you're at. And it also is going to start, stand for synchronicities. The more you're right here right now from this B, the more synchronicities start happening. Yeah. And it's a wonderful thing. So the other thing, I, you, can, you can do this at home, you know, make these kind of, the, the word went out of my head of what this is, acronym. acronym. Synergy, synergy, synchronicity, your state, and then serenity. This one I wanted to have like s something that you say. S for say, say a serenity prayer or a serenity statement. Or sing. Or sing. That's sing. beautiful. <laughs> sing, sing a song. Sing out long. Sing out long. We may grow into a big giant musical right now. <laughs> I didn't wear my dancing shoes. We're in Bollywood. Bollywood, yeah, right. So think of uh, like the serenity prayer. Do you know the serenity prayer? Grant that I may... God, grant me the serenity to change the things I can, accept the things, things I, I cannot can. change, okay. and the wisdom, and the wisdom to know the difference. difference. Okay. Good, you guys. So I'll say that over and over like a mantra if something is... You know, like if you have those little hamsters in your head that keep saying the same thought over and over and over again, mm -hmm. if you'll stick a mantra in there or sing, yeah. sing a song, <laughs> now we're going to... Sing out loud, sing out strong, <laughs> and laugh. Laughter is good too. You guys have already got that one down. What, that is one of the fastest ways to change your state. And how much time do I have, Pam? Three, three minutes? minutes three four months. minutes. Okay, another wonderful, fabulous way to change your state and make yourself happy is. Bubbles. bubbles. Of course. So this can also be your B for bubbles. Are we blowing bubbles now? Because yeah. you can blow bubbles. Here's your Shelly. Because <laughs> nothing puts me in a better mood faster than bubbles. Yeah, blow bubbles. You have permission to blow bubbles in this class. Yay. So are the cutest little ones I've Aren't seen. these wonderful? I love it. Now look at the colors. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that can also be the, the O. The breath. The breath. That's right. And being inside of a bubble. Hmm. Imagine being your, inside one of these beautiful iridescent bubbles and nothing mean, no mean people can harm you. You're happy, and nothing can create a unhappy state because you're in your bliss bubble state, right? Yes. You know what else is good about bubbles? Is it's good for me to visualize those thoughts that keep repeating. Visualize mm. them. Oh okay. yeah, you could do that too. It's going away in a bubble. Yeah. And then it Put pops all those gone. little like negative it. thoughts out in a bubble, and then it goes out into the universe yeah. and makes other people happy. <laughs> Look at, uh, they're just fascinating to me, the iridescentness of them. So you can also create a bubble around you. Creating a bubble around you to where nothing outside of your bubble can harm you. This is a very powerful thing. I know it sounds cornball, but it's very, very powerful to put a happy little bubble around you and the inside your bubble is just your bliss state. That's another B word. So being in bliss. So I would like to thank you all for <laughs> yeah. that is awesome. coming out and playing with me today and playing with Bob. So let's go through what we've got. Breath. Ooh, breath. Pam said breath. <laughs> What's the other B? Body language. Body language. Okay. Observation. Observation mode or being B. an observer. B. Another B. Just B. B. B in your bliss state. 
and S be saying something that is going to change your state, an affirmation, a positive affirmation or a serenity state. And just make sure you stay in your happy bubble all day. Thank you out there in internet land for joining me today and having fun. I hope you go out and buy yourself some bubbles. bubbles. Yay. Bye. Bye. Bye.